Hi, this is Jim Damschutter from Gravity Capital Partners. Watch how easy it is to build and analyze a portfolio in gsphere.net. Clients of Gravity Capital Partners get free access to gsphere.net and they use it to run portfolio analytics and create proposals. It's very easy to use and it generates stunning results that appeal to any type of investor. They teach that investor valuable things you can't ascertain from any other system. Gravity has patents issued for both holistic portfolio visualization and for diversification measurement. Center stage in gsphere.net analytics is our 3D holistic portfolio analysis, which shows just how diversified the portfolio is. You can use this information to educate investors about how much diversification is in their portfolio, or more often, how little diversification is in their portfolio. Most investors tend to be less diversified than they think that they are, and this could be an eye-opening experience for them. Let's get started. Take your favorite web browser and navigate to gsphere.net. If you have access credentials, go ahead and log in. And if you don't have access credentials, please request them right here or get in touch with us at Gravity Capital Partners down here. Once you're logged in, click on the investor tab and create the investor for which you're running the analysis. You can enter in their portfolio by clicking in ticker symbols, such as or using a lookup function. Or by importing a file from Excel, which has the portfolio holdings. Select your file, click to open, select the worksheet in which the data resides, and then just select the, the column heading that contains the row of ticker symbols. Here it's called symbols. And then you can import either uh, allocations, shares, or values, whatever's uh, most convenient for you. If you have access to more than one of those fields, I advise you to import shares. And we'll click here, we'll click to load shares, and we'll just tell it where the shares are. Okay, we'll click here to submit the data. And GSphere will rope all this into the system. All the data is kept on demand in our servers. And I'll just define um, some share volumes for these uh, assets I entered by hand. Okay, so here's our portfolio. It's a $9 million portfolio. Let's give it a name. And I'll hit the button to calculate it. And voila, the gsphere.net 3D graphics provide a visual explanation of the diversification by equating diversification or, or balance in a financial sense to balance in a physical sense via symmetry. So we use this globe as a, a visual cue to help us frame what perfect diversification or perfect balance might look like. Similarly, we can use these boxes to show out of the different, you know, eight different, you know, subdivisions, how this has this portfolio strategy filled up these boxes and manifested its potential diversification. Similarly, we've put diversification um, and reduced it to these easy to use gauges. Uh, so here we can see we're in the uh, exposed zone for total diversification. And we break out diversification to both systematic diversification and non-systematic diversification. The report uh, allows you to back test this portfolio to any time period of your designation and allows you to analyze the portfolio uh, a number of different ways, including risk and return analysis, uh, more details on the diversification sources of this portfolio, 
and information about the, the positions, the risk of the portfolio, the risk of the individual assets, and the different return characteristics of the assets and uh, any dividends that those uh, assets might be paying, as well as the correlations. So once this portfolio has been created, um, you can, you know, talk to the client about possible deficiencies in it that, you know, m might exist and often do because a lot of portfolios are just, you know, under diversified. And what I see in this particular strategy, let's, let's take a look. I'm going to go to full screen mode. So this is a portfolio largely comprised of a fund family called Dimensional Fund Advisors. They're a, a widely used fund family and have products in a number of different spaces. So this is a, an initiative at, you know, uh, entering a, a fairly realistic portfolio that one might get from their, you know, financial advisor. And what I'm seeing here, um, you know, assets that are, are going the same direction are correlated to each other. So we, we have a, a strong number of these assets that are, you know, kind of going the same direction. Uh, and then we have a handful of other assets kind of around the perimeter here that are better diversifiers. So all in all, we still have a, a fairly large portion of this globe that's not being covered by this portfolio. Now, the image that we see here shows the maximum amount of diversification that's available in this strategy. That doesn't necessarily mean that you have all this diversification. Technically, you only have this amount of diversification because of the weights that are already assigned to these portfolios are further putting this portfolio strategy out of whack. So one, it could be possible to improve this diversification by reweighting it and putting it putting the weights in proportion to the extent that these assets are balancing that portfolio, or further, you know, extending the assets and different combinations of strategies to get a fuller, better coverage of the portfolio. So once you've either analyzed this portfolio or if you're prepared to make a recommendation, often using our compare feature, which I'll address in our, our next video, uh, you can go ahead and click on a report, generate a report uh, of this strategy. In the reports, you can select or deselect any of the report elements to be included, add any notes, any disclosure items that are appropriate given the circumstances, and then click to generate the report. Okay, the report has built. It's downloaded to my uh, my browser's default location, and it's a, it's a PDF file. I'm going to go ahead and click to open it. And let me drag it over here. So as you can see, the, the very same, you know, dynamic interactive 3D um, uh, information that was contained inside that web page is now also available in a kind of a, a run-of-the-mill PDF file that you can email to your clients and prospects and uh, use it to help educate them about their strategy and about their decisions and about your recommendations. All right, thank you for your time and stay tuned for our next video where we talk about presenting a solution to investors' diversification problems. Thank you.